Okay, so what we're doing here is a tiny house build, and we can see on the trailer here, uh, it's a heavy duty trailer that's been modified with uh, kind of a frame outrigger situation because a lot of the original tumbleweed designs are going to use a uh, something where the wheel wells end up on the outside of the trailer. On this, we're going to go over that in order to get as much interior space as we can. A part of this is there's a few different ways that they recommend attaching the decking on. Um, what we're doing is we're going to be welding these uh, rods of, of steel all thread at strategic locations along here so that the, the walls can anchor onto that. I'd originally been using a lighter duty welder on this and kind of convinced the owner that we need to use a heavy duty one so we're using the Eastwood MiG-175. It's a 220 volt welder uh, with our 60 foot extension cord. I just kind of put it into the dryer outlet at the house. And uh, you know, with a wire feed welder it's relatively easy as long as you got good you know, electric shock proof gloves. Just simply hold it up and, and it weld with the other hand. One of the things to look out for is when something's been powder coated we need to grind the paint off, which I did before we got the video going. Uh, if it's been painted, you can kind of weld through the paint, but it's still better to kind of paint, uh, grind, or sand some of that paint off, and then grind or, uh, and then paint it again once we're finished with the welding. So next we'll show uh, how this looks like with all of these anchor points done. Is it safe to look at it through the uh, monitor? I don't know. Let's try it. Alright, you got some video there? So that's basically it. This is like a quick little hour, hour and a half job to secure the stakes. Plus, we had a part where there was some damage, so we, there, there has to be metal sheeting under here to hold the insulation because of the way the floors get insulated on these. Uh, the way this build is going to go, it's going to have regular tongue and groove flooring put on. Uh, we've been back and forth on whether or not to put it directly on the metal or to put a layer of uh, wood on the framing first. So that's that's one of those things. but. You'll see some upcoming videos and more action on this uh, tiny house build, which to me is, is actually not so tiny by the time we're, we're finished on it and off.